today's video is going to be walking to five different disused railway stations. Two that were owned by the North Sasha Railway and three that were owned by the Great Northern Railway. And our walk today actually starts at this disused railway station right here, which is the sixth disused railway station starting from Hickson. And it's also the site of Hickson rail crash. So please come and join me as we walk to these five disused railway stations that shall be visited today. Hello there, Simon Trades here, or some people I call me Simon Trades. You join me at the disused railway station, Hickson. And if you want to see the walk from Great Haywood to Hickson Station, it's going to be listed in the description and up in the cards right now. But today's walk is actually going to take you from Hickson Railway Station, one of the disused railway station, to five different disused railway stations we're visiting today on a roughly about a seven mile walk. But there is actually only four villages we are visiting today. It will be explained all when we get to Western. Because today we're visiting Chartley, Western, Salt and Sandton, which they all have disused railway stations in them areas. So please come and join me as we start this seven mile walk to visit all those disused railway stations today. So this road down here takes us to Hickson's disused railway station at the Double Crossing. But as I mentioned in the blog when it walked to Hickson, it's now got a road bridge that goes over the West Coast Main Line just up there. But we're not going that way today because we're actually going in this direction. And this will take us to the village of Hickson itself. It's roughly about a 10 minute walk into the village. We're going to carry on our walk now to get to the village of Hickson, but then we're going to the village of Stowe to see Chartleaf Station first. So just a little further down there is the road we just came off from, from Hickson's Disused Railway Station. But I've stopped here for a second to talk about this here because this is where RAF Hickson used to be, which is now a disused airfield, but this is also the Hickson Airfield Industrial Estate. But it was just here. So when that transporter was coming from Stafford, it wasn't too far away before it got hit by that Class 81 electric locomotive. We were just going to this location here. So I'm now in the village of Hickson itself. We just walked down this road from here and that takes you to the disused station of Hickson. There's also a bus stop here, so you can actually get a bus to Hickson. But our walk is actually going to Stowe by Chartley, which is one mile in this direction here. So we're going to take this road to get to our first issues railway station. So apparently for the next three quarters of a mile, there's no paths. It's country road again. <sighs> so we're now walking along country roads to get to Stove. But we want to get to Stove. Well, the station was actually called Stove, but the station was also called Chartley. So we're actually going to be visiting a disused railway station that used to have two different names. But the village we're visiting is actually called Stove by Charlie. So we just carry on walking these country roads to get to this location. So one mile in that direction is Hickson. And now I'm in a village called Stove by Chartley, which is just a beautiful village indeed, to be honest. Now we're going to be heading this direction to head to the disused railway station Chartley. But on the way back, I'm coming back this way because I've got to head in that direction to get to Western, but that's later on in the blog. We're just focusing getting to this disused railway station, which is just down Station Road. 
and also at the village of Stowe by Chartley, I found the cock. <laughs> yes, I found the cock. It's actually um, tea rooms and eatery at a bar, to be honest, but it looks like it's a pub, to be honest, but it's only open for takeaways at the moment. But anyway, enough of the cock. We're heading in that direction. Now, we're just on top of this bridge here, and Chartley Station is actually just down here. Whoa! Just down here, but you can't really see much because it's all overgrown with trees and all that. But that's the site of Chartley Railway Station on the Great Northern Line, the old clog and knocker from Stafford to Utoxeter. So I was just on that bridge up there, we just come down to Charterley's Village Hall, which is just behind me now. I think this is the closest we're going to get to this railway station, which is just here. It's not really been a good start, but it's enough to start this blog off with one out of five disused railway stations visited today. So we're going to do a quick history of Chartley Station and then we're going to move on to Western Station. So as I said, this is the closest we're going to get to Chartley Station. This station opened on the 23rd of December 1876 by the Stafford and Utoxid Railway Stove. On the 3rd of October 1874 it was renamed Chartley. It was also known as Chartley and Stove, but it closed to passengers on the 4th of December 1939. This was part of the Stafford and you talk to the railway, which is also known as the Clog and Knocker. So Simon, that was a bust. Sure was, Carol. Who in the hell are you calling Carol for God's sakes? So Charlie Station was just in that direction down there. We'll just come back into the village of Stowe by Charlie now. But we are going to walk this way take us to Western and there's also a heritage railway down this way as well which is going to pop in but it will be closed so we're just going to go up to the gates. Anyway this way. We're not far from the A518 you can probably hear it in the background but I'm just on another railway bridge. Now what I didn't mention the blog was that this way took you to Chartley, where Chartley Station was, that was heading towards Utoxita. And if we just cross this bridge here, there's no cars coming, which is good. This way takes you on towards Stafford. But like I said, the, the track bed's not even here. It's just all fields now. And if we go back on this side, I'll just show you on this side quick, heading towards Chartley. There's nothing there. Nothing made of the trap bed as such. So I just come down this narrow road here and now I'm on the A518, which pay you toxicity that direction. And Western is half a mile that way and Stafford six miles that way. But just around the corner, it does say a sign saying Amberton. So we're now heading to the bridge at Amberton, and there is a railway, a heritage railway at Amberton called the Amberton Railway. It's on Amberton Farm, which we're going to have a look at the gates now, to see what we can see inside, if we can. And just before we enter Amberton, there's another the cock sign, right here, which actually points, not at me though, in that direction to head down that road. That's the last time we're going to see cock in this vlog. So we're now on the A518 and right behind me is Amerton Farm. And you just make out the distance there, Amerton Railway is just there. Now this railway opened in about 1992, it's a two foot narrow gauge railway. But unfortunately because of the pandemic at the moment and we're still in lockdown, that's not open at the moment so I can't really miss it there as much. So we're going to carry on now to head towards Western. Now if I head down that road there, that will take me three quarters of a mile to a village called Gayton. But we're not going that way, we're just going to carry on this road to get to Western. A note to myself, in future, do not walk down the A518. 
this path right here. It's just absolutely squishy indeed. It's not that kind of squishy as well. And sometimes because some idiots have left stuff on the floor, I'm going to have to walk around it or walk on the road. I ain't walking down this road again, I'll assure you that. But I don't think we're not that far from Western Station now. I am never walking that road again. But also, I'll plug this in now, but if you do want to check some footage from Arrington's Railway, do check out Barnabas Junction on YouTube because I think he visited there last summer which I'll just put the card up now for it but anyway the village of Western is actually right behind me because I've actually made it to the site of Western Railway Station it's just down here so this is station number two which was the North Staffordshire Railway Station there's nothing left but this is the West Coast Main Line heading towards Great Hay with the Colwich Junction that side and this side of the bridge takes it towards Stone. I'm going to do a quick history of Western Station before we go into the village of Western itself because the first station is actually in the village of Western. Without looking at where Western Industry Station was, it opened on the 1st of May 1849 by the North Staffordshire Railway, but it closed on the 6th of January 1947. So Western Station or Western for Industry Station is here. Now I've got to go into the village of Western because the Great Northern Railway had a station in the village itself because this is the North Staffordshire Railway station here but the village that I've got to go into Western for the station is called Industry and Western not to be confused with this station right here So behind me here is actually Green Lane now I've come to this road because right behind me here, unfortunately there's nothing there because it's all been built on I'm afraid, it's where the start of, where I'm pointing at now, was in Geestry Station. I don't know how you pronounce that to be honest, but hopefully that's the right pronunciation. But that's the Great Northern Railway Station, just where my finger is roughly now. So I'm going to do a quick history of this station. This is station number three of this new station we've visited today. And then we're going to be moving on the, the Trent Mersey Canal to visit the fourth station, Salt. So where that hedge line is there is roughly where the start of Ingi Street Station was. Now Ingi Street Station opened on the 23rd of December 1867 by the Stafford and Utoxeter Railway. But when it was opened it was named Western. In January 1870 it was renamed to Ingi Street for Western to avoid confusion with Western and Ingi Street Station, which is where we just visited on the North Staffordshire Line. So where I retired was just renamed to Ingi Street, but the passenger service is finished on the 4th December 1939. Trent to Mersey Canal to find the next disused station which is Salt. Now Salt Station is the first station after Stafford Common I think on the Great Northern Railway's Stafford to Utoxeter line but I don't think nothing's left and I think it actually has been built on and it might be impossible to try and look for it but we're going to try and look for it anyway to see if we can find Salt Station or where roughly it was. So we're still walking the Trent Mersey Canal, but we have rejoined the West Coast Bay Line here. You just see the fence there, it's just behind that fence. Now I think there might be a train passing in a second, so we're gonna fill this train passing through and then carry on to get to Salt.
that is a very lovely bridge indeed but we are leaving the Trent Mersey Canal now because we are going to be taking these paths up here through that gate which will probably give it a good kick in a second to head that way towards Salt to try and find this disused railway station number four. No gates. Carry on. Now in the beach of salt. Now I'm looking for the last great northern railway station we're visiting today, but I don't know where I can get it. I think I'm gonna to have to carry on walking down here in this direction to try and find close enough to where it was because I don't think we can get this one I'm afraid but I'm gonna have a look see what we can find see what we can find of it I was hoping to get down there to get to Salt Station but that's a private road so it looks like Salt is a no-go to be honest but I think it was just around here anyway Let's see if we can find somewhere else before we go so I'm at the Holly Bush here and you can just make out the railway bank but just over there of the Great Northern Railways Stafford to Utoxy line Unfortunately, we won't be able to get to Salt Station. That's the closest I'm probably going to get it, to be honest. We're in a shame, really. So, I've just come a bit further away from the village of Salt. Now, this is a road behind me, but this is a road bridge. Because down below this road bridge is the disused railway line of the Staffordshire and New Toxeter Railway. Stafford covers in that direction and Salt Station which unfortunately Salt Station is a complete waste of time I just can't get to it because there was a private road and that's what unfortunately ruined it oh well you win some you lose some and then if I cross this road here in this direction this will take on towards Utoxeter and the other two stations we visited today which was Iggy Street or Inky Street I can't even pronounce that, I hope that is right. And Charterley, which is in that direction. But that's the last time we're going to see the Stafford and you talk to the railway. So we're going to move on to Sandton Station now to visit the last station of the day of the disused stations we're visiting. So it's now time to walk Trentfield Lane. Unfortunately, I don't think this will take us to She Loves Trent, but anyway, it's the last part of the walk now to get to Sandon Station. So we are going in this direction to get to Sandon Station on the West Coast Main Line. So, unfortunately, again, there's no footpaths, it's country roads. We're now just leaving Treadfield Road. We are heading on the B5066 in that direction, just there now to visit Sandton Station. All we just got to do now is go over the River Trent, go over the Trent Mercy Canal, and we're roughly there. It's not too far away now. I got you under my skin. You are a bad, bad man. Care about no one else but you under your skin. Just a sad, sad man don't have no one else what you're trying to prove. So I'm on the B5066 and Santa's station is just right here now. So this is the end of the line, you could say, for today's walk. But it's not yet because I still need to make an announcement as such after the station history of Santa's station. So unfortunately, this bridge is a bit high for me. So I'm going to have to put the camera around on top of the bridge to show you down below the West Coast Bay Line. And I roughly say the best to last. Because Sandon Station building is still intact even though it's private residence. That's a lovely Jacobean style building right there. So I'm going to do a quick history of Sandon Station and then I'm going to meet you somewhere else to talk about today's seven mile route. 
So we now look at the site of Stanton Station. Stanton Station was owned by the North Staffordshire Railway on the 1st of May 1849. At some point during the station was opened, it was named Sandon and Salt. To avoid confusion with Salt and Sandon, we did try to visit that station but we were unsuccessful because it was a private road. The station closed to passengers on the 6th of January 1947 but freight closed on the 5th of September 1955. So I'm now back on the Trent to Mersey Canal and to be honest I've had to sit down somewhere because my thigh here was absolutely tight indeed from all this walking today. That's how bad it was to be honest. But we got about five out of four, four out of five stations done of the disused stations. We got I think that was Chartley done, kind of. We got Western done. We got Iggy's Tier done. I still can't pronounce that to be honest. We couldn't get Salt done because that was on private road, which was the Shea really, but then we got Sandon done okay. So I'm now sitting here now having a rest because it's well needed after this walk. It's been on canal, it's been on road, and it's been on country roads with no paths, it's been on muddy canals and it's really been that bad today. Do we recommend this walk? No. Probably on the canal, yes, but not on the country roads, especially down the A518. That was just the worst thing to do out of this walk. Walk along that road because there's no paths, it was squishy floor, and I wouldn't even recommend doing that to be honest. If you want to go down the A518, get a car drive down there. Other than that, it has really been a good day, but unfortunately I got some bad news because I was hoping after this blog it could have been a railway journey. It's not the case anymore because I have heard rumours now, and I think these are true, that non-essential travel is not being lifted till the 12th of April. And I thought it was the 29th of March myself. So I'm gonna to have to find a few more walking journeys to do. We might go down to Usher Trev Valley one day as a walk, but we're just going to have to carry on with some more walking journeys till the 12th of April, and then we can travel on the trains if everything goes to plan. So we'll just stop at this video for a second because I want to explain the 29th of March and the 12th of April with this travel business. But before we do, McDonald's is just there. So there's your McDonald's. And Rougie Power Station is just there, but the 29th of March, you are technically allowed to travel again, but the thing is, you are discouraged from travelling. So, you can travel if you want to, but they're discouraging you not to travel. And then on the 12th of April, that's when technically the non-essential travel does end. But, it's up to you, you can travel from the 29th of March if you want to, because it's only guidance, not law. Anyway, back to this video. So if you guys see more walking journeys, feel free to give this a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe to the YouTube channel and feel free to leave a comment down below. I'll be looking forward to hearing your comments. I don't think this left five won't though because it's still excuse my language burning as hell. Thank you for watching, stay safe, and I'll see you for the next walking or railway journey very soon. Thank you for watching, take care.